This year's Nobel Prizes have been awarded, and the one for physics is a doozy. They may have solved the mystery of dark matter. Maybe. Possibly. Let me explain. Dark matter, of course, is a type of matter that's never been observed or detected, but we see the effects of it all over the place. It's thought to be what holds the galaxies together. In fact, they think it makes up about a quarter of the universe. And the fact that we don't know what it is has been one of the most enduring mysteries of science. So back to the Nobel Prize. It was given to two teams of scientists that were able to prove that neutrinos have mass. <gasps> What's a neutrino? Neutrinos are fundamental particles, one of the building blocks of the atom, and according to the standard model of particle physics, they come in three flavors, tau, muon, and electron. And a core tenet of particle physics is that particles can't change flavors unless they have mass. Neutrinos, like photons, have never been observed changing flavors before, and it was believed that they didn't have mass. But two teams working in neutrino detectors in Canada and Japan have been able to conclusively prove that neutrinos were actually changing flavors, say, going from an electron neutrino to a muon neutrino and back again. Therefore, neutrinos must have mass. It's an incredibly small amount, only about a thousandth that of an electron, but neutrinos are the second most abundant particle in the universe, so that might add up. Will that add up to the 24% of the universe that's currently unaccounted for? We'll see. But it's a really cool starting point. So last week I did a live stream to celebrate the 1,000 subscribers uh, milestone that this channel just hit, and I unveiled the new background what you think? There's still a lot of decoration that needs to be done. I am not a designer of any kind whatsoever, so it's gonna take me a little while, but I've got, you know, these different little cubby holes I'm gonna use for different purposes here. This is where I've got awards and stuff for my movie Oceanfront property. I'll put some more um, stuff, little posters and stuff like that in there. Typewriter, because I'm a writer. Up here I'm gonna put books that relate to the stuff that I'm talking about and just things that are important to me. My, my current business I'm working on right now, Canker Boy, here's some of the uh, packages that I'm sending out to people. But there's an empty cubby right there. What, what's, what's going on there? What's just this empty cubby? That's my favorite cubby of all because that's your cubby. That's the answer file cubby. I'm going to be celebrating you guys that are really involved and engaged in my channel and as asking questions and responding in comments and stuff like that by putting little icons in there that represent you. And the first honor of being in the cubby has to go to a guy who actually showed up to my live stream last week uh, from Germany. It was three in the morning and he stayed up till three in the morning just to hop on and be a part of that live stream. His name is David. He goes by Darth Id in the comments and Darth Id, David, you're the first one up. There'll be many added to that, I'm sure, but that's a start. David, you're awesome, dude. Ben Shimon commented on my quantum entanglement video. Wilhelm Scream, nice video, man. Thank you! <coughs> Tobias Faith commented on that video. The music was a bit loud, which made understanding more difficult. I'm from Germany, so understanding isn't as easy as for others. I have fans in Germany. Let me just wrap my head around that for a second. Yeah, that's, that video was actually quite a beast to put out. There were a lot of like computer effects and stuff, which I'm not really that good at, so it took forever. And uh, by the time I got around to doing the sound, I was kind of rushing, and yeah, the music was a bit too loud. I did notice that afterwards. Sorry about that. Blue Dusk said, Man, you deserve so many more subs. I appreciate that, but does anybody really need a submarine? Okay, I'm going to wrap this puppy up, but just really quickly, I wanted to give a shout out to all the people that I've been in uh, the video labs class with. I haven't really talked about it much on here, but I've been involved in uh, a video course with a guy named Tim Schmoyer from videocreators.com. Uh, if you have any interest in being on YouTube or running a YouTube channel or anything like that, uh, it's really worth your time to go check out the Video Creators YouTube channel. I'll put a link down in the description, but Tim Schmoyer, he also offers books and courses, and, um, and they're all really worthwhile. I've been in this Video Labs course for the last 10 weeks. I've gotten to know some really great people. If any of you guys out there are watching, uh, it's been an absolute pleasure getting to know you. We're wrapping all that up right now, but I know I'm going to stay in touch with all of you guys and... Uh, uh, you, you, the viewers, will be seeing a lot more of them in the future. You've already seen them a little bit, but you're going to be seeing more. Anyway, it's been a fun time, a great time. Uh, big thanks to Tim Schmoyer and everybody in that class. I really enjoyed it, and um, more to come. All right, gang, time to get on with my day. You guys have a great week. Thanks for watching. Take care. I love you guys. Later. Later.